So I figured I'd just take these two tapes, you know, the hour of each one, and then just chop it up into something that really doesn't even make any kind of sense. It doesn't need to. Yeah. There's your intro. We're assuming there's a sausage mark. There has to be. It's a dirt mall. Now, why do you call them dirt malls? Because most people call them flea markets. They're, they're like knockoff. I mean, it's like a mall, but but shitty. So it's a, it's like a dirty mall. It's a dirt mall. You're the only one I know that uses that term. Well, the rest of the people are wrong. <laughs> You know, you, you, you're just sitting there and then all of a sudden he starts kissing a dude. Yeah. Not that that bothers me, you know, you can you can do that if that's You're allowed to be bothered by it, Dean. You don't have to look at it. Well, I'm if, just saying, if, it's if, disturbing if, if you're sitting there. Let's just say, in my situation. There's, there's nothing homophobic about, but, about seeing two men kiss and not being turned on by it. <laughs> but anyway, do you have... Uh, you have, uh, like, I guess higher end stuff that's going on in the front, you know, like jewelry and, and all that kind of crap. Yeah. You know, like, you know, collectibles and, you know, like Michael Schmidt rookie cards and shit. Yeah. Like that. So then in another section, they have furniture. I think he just went by Mike. I think he just went by Mike. Well, that's why I said Mike Schmidt. You said Michael. Did I? Yeah, you said Michael Schmidt. Well, we'll have to see. But, um... Did I say Michael? Yeah. That's weird. Anyway, Mike Schmidt. Uh, speaking of rye bread, I was like, why do they call it rye bread, honey? And she says, because it's made with rye. I go, that makes sense. Yeah. Didn't realize it. Like, I knew why they called wheat bread wheat. But oh, you didn't know rye bread was made of rye? Didn't know. Didn't know. Why did you figure this out? Well, like I said, I, I asked, I asked Mary. Wow. Yeah. Why do they call it rye bread? It's why do they call bread. it pumpernickel? Now I know. I got the book smarts. I don't have, like, common sense. Yeah. That's my problem. Yeah. Doing the math is the tough part. Knowing how to do the math is, you know that. Well, they changed math now. Yeah. Well, I think that was a successful day. Good day. Good day. I got this Obama hat. Oh, I got this uh, Ted Nugent hat. That is very Ted Nugent. That is very Ted Nugent. Whoa! That, 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 what? No, whoa! That's not where you stop your car. That wasn't good. If you're past the line and it's red, you go. Dummy. See, I thought this, I thought this hat would be a uh, one size fits all. It's definitely not. It, it suits you though, so it's... No matter what anybody says, you know, these dopes are out there claiming that it's a bad thing when it's not. American exceptionalism is amazing. No matter what any of these idiots say. And by American exceptionalism, I mean the idea or the truth that we are better than other people simply for the fact that we were born American. <laughs> That was almost the situation there. Yeah. And it, look, two Pennsylvanians. Yep. Pennsylvania drivers. Keep them out. We got to put up a wall. I agree. Keep out those uh, Pennsylvania but Lucas. Walls work. Ask Israel. Walls work. Well, worked in Berlin for quite some time. Yeah, it's better than the League of Nations. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the hat. The hat's doing it to me. 